In this monthly update for Tesla in Singapore, I'll share Tesla's latest sales numbers, LTA's new EV classification, and the upcoming Model Y launch and test drive. Click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. Let's start with Tesla's sales momentum. Globally, Tesla's been doing great, with 46% year-on-year growth on deliveries for first half of this year compared to last year. This is despite the shutdown in Shanghai in Q2 2022, which impacted Giga Shanghai's production shutting down the factory for most of June. Giga Shanghai has since recovered quickly with record production months and new factory upgrades. At this year's annual shareholders meeting, Elon Musk has said that no other Giga factory can currently match Giga Shanghai on production. And Giga Shanghai recently celebrated its one millionth car produce. Congratulations to the Giga Shanghai team. Here in Singapore, the picture isn't the same. When we map out Tesla's quarterly sales in the past year, we haven't yet seen quarter and quarter sales growth. Tesla started deliveries in July 2021 and it was huge pent-up demand for the Tesla Model 3 over the years, which led to a spike in initial deliveries. In Q3 2021, Tesla delivered 487 vehicles. In Q4, it was 407 vehicles. In Q1 this year, it was 180, and in Q2 this year, 135. All of these vehicles are the Tesla Model 3, the only model officially available in this period. There are a few nuances unique to Singapore to consider. There are 1.4 billion cars worldwide, and Singapore has 650,000 private cars which means that Singapore is 0.05% of the global car market. Very small. The Certificate of Entitlement system also caps the number of Teslas that can be sold in this country, with quota limits and prices being three times higher than the rest of the world. Despite that, we want Tesla to succeed in Singapore, and second half of this year will be crucial for Tesla's growth with the launch of the Model Y. We can only improve what we can measure, which brings us to Singapore's Land Transport Authority vehicle classification. In the past, Singapore's LTA measured three classifications, petrol, diesel, and others. With Singapore rapidly transitioning to EVs, we wrote in in October 2021 to ask them to consider adding an EV classification. I want to thank LTA for making this a reality. As you can see in the July registration data, a brand like BMW now has four line items. Petrol, Petrol Electric, Petrol Electric Hybrid, and Electric. This last line item are pure EVs. With this new classification, we're now able to not just show you total car sales by brand each month, but also give you a more accurate assessment of BEV sales in the country. BYD led the way in July 2022 with 130 BEV sold. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that Singapore is an export market for Tesla, which means that more than 70% of quarterly sales will happen in the last month of each quarter. September 2022 will be crucial for Tesla. We don't sell many cars here in Singapore because of government policy and long-term planning. Singapore is one of the world's best public transportation systems and our cars are the most expensive in the world. So it takes more consideration before buying a car. One of the main reasons for getting a car here in Singapore is to transport families, which makes SUV an ideal form factor. This is why the Tesla Model Y behind me is uniquely important for Tesla in Singapore, with SUVs contributing up to 40% of all cars sold in this country. With a starting price of 250,000 Singapore dollars for the rear wheel drive and 297,000 dollars for the performance variance, some consider the Tesla Model Y an expensive car. I believe the Model Y's performance and battery range is best in class for its price range. In addition, Tesla's software lead and supercharger network are unrivaled. Nothing beats a test drive. Dave Lee started investing in Tesla stock after trying a Tesla Model S himself in 2012. Here in Singapore, the Tesla community is organizing a Tesla Model Y test drive this Sunday on 21st August. I'll put a link in the video description below. You can bring your friends and family so that everyone can enjoy the thrill of riding a Tesla. While you're in the front driver's seat, a Tesla sales advisor will guide you sitting in the front passenger seat. That leaves room for three more in the rear passenger seats. One thing to take note is that Tesla will not allow filming during the test drive itself. I believe this is to discourage people who just want to film social media videos without serious intent to buy a car. I'll be here this Sunday and I look forward to seeing you then. Some of us saw how quickly Singapore transitioned from feature phones to smartphones a decade ago. Now, we're seeing the rapid transition from mice to EVs. I want to thank the Tesla Singapore team for your tireless efforts, as well as the Tesla Singapore community, both owners and investors, for being advocates. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to see how Singapore's transition to sustainable energy plays out.